The island of Sodor is always a beautiful place to be, home of the North Western Railway. It is surrounded by a sparkling bright blue sea. It has fields of green and sandy yellow beaches, castles to explore, and bustling docks where tall cranes lift and load cargo from large ships. There are also lots and lots of railway lines where engines work hard to deliver goods and passengers to their destinations. Good morning, Sodor! It's a very busy day today, Anitabo. We know, Thomas. It's always like this every day. I know that feeling. Sometimes I wish something new would happen to our island. Everyone has any new experiences for ages. You took your time, Thomas. This isn't like our races we've had over the years. Sorry, Bertie. I just wish something new is to happen on the island we live. It would be really nice if the fact controller gives me specials more often instead of working on my branch line every day. But Thomas, your branch line is a very important part of the railway to run on. Without it, what will happen to us now? I'm sorry, you two. I love working on my branch line. I just wish something new and exciting would happen on Sodor. Well, if you want something exciting to happen, how about we fancy a race? You and me. No, thank you, Bertie. I don't feel like any races for a while. For a tangent like Thomas, he's always willing to race. There's just something not right about him. That evening, when Thomas returned to Tidmouth Sheds, his best friend Percy could see he was still feeling sorry for himself. Hello, Thomas. Why aren't you happy? Is something wrong? No, Percy, there's nothing wrong with me. It's been ages since the Fat Controller gave me an exciting special. Don't worry, Thomas. I'm sure the Fat Controller will have something for you to do tomorrow. I bet he'll just send me to my branch on like always. The next morning, the fat controller arrived at the sheds to give the engines their jobs for the day. Good morning, my engines. Now, before I give you your jobs for today, I have some very important news. What is it, sir? Is it something special? Why, yes it is, Thomas. I'll be going away with my family on a much-needed holiday to Brighton, on the mainland. Brighton? On the mainland? That's where I was built, sir! Exactly, Thomas. I've already asked Mr. Percival to look after my office while I'm away. Now then, I need a volunteer to take me and my family on our holiday. I can take you, sir. I was built in Brighton. <laughs> oh, don't be silly, little Thomas. Surely the fat controller will allow a big, fast engine like me to take him. But you got your express passengers to take, Gordon. Becca can't handle all the passenger trains by herself. Mia is right, Gordon. I only came here to help you out during busy times. Well, I think he'll choose a splendid engine like me, in fact. Actually, I've made other arrangements on who's taking me. If one of us isn't taking you, then who is taking you and your family on holiday, sir? I have asked Spencer to take me to Brighton. Spencer? That big silver show-off? Oh, the indignity. I knew he would choose that engine instead of me. I'm much more splendid than that Spencer anyway. The reason why I chose Spencer is because he lives on the mainland with the Duke and Duchess of Boxford, and you all have to stay here and do your usual jobs. Usual jobs? But sir, I thought you were going to have something special for me to do. Well, I do need you to go to Brendan Docks to collect a new arrival that's going to work on the Coldy Fell Railway. Wow, thank you, sir. 
Now that's something really special. Now then, don't get too excited up to your smoke box, because I need a really useful engine to concentrate on his jobs. Don't worry, sir. You can rely on your number one engine. Now, for the rest of you, here are your jobs for today. Emily, the black lock woman. Percy, the mail train. As Thomas made his way to the docks, he was very excited. A little too excited, you would say. I can't believe I'm doing a long away to special. This is going to be the best job I've had in a long time. As Thomas pulled into Napford, he saw Spencer waiting on the platform. Hello, Spencer. Are you here to take the fat controller and his family on holiday to Brighton? Yes, I am, Thomas. Why are you all so excited? Because the Fat Controller has given me a special I've been waiting for a long time. Oh, really? <laughs> well, it won't be as special as taking some VIPs to Brighton. <laughs> okay, Spencer. Prove it. I'm going to have the best special ever. See you later, Silver Show Off. <laughs> so engine. Who does he think he is? Thomas didn't hear Spencer, as he was too excited to be doing this special. I can't wait to be doing this special. It certainly does feel great to be an engine. Oh yes, it's great to be an engine and go steaming along. A puff, puff, puffing along. And travel through the countryside We're always brave when there's hills to climb No mountain is too high Oh yes, it's great to be an engine As you're steaming along A puff, puff, puffing along Always things for us to do And puff, puff, puffing and steam around all day. Soon Thomas arrived at Brendan Docks. He saw Cranky unloading a small diesel engine he had never seen before. Hello there. You must be the new arrival that's going to work on the Caldy Fell Railway. Yep. My name is Irina. This is my first time on Sodor. And what's your name? I'm Thomas. I'm the number one blue engine on this railway. Nice to meet you, Thomas. I can't wait to be working up at Caldy Fell. Did you enjoy your trip along the seawater? Were the waves rough? Why do you always have to ask so many questions about new arrivals, Thomas? <laughs> that soul train is very funny, Thomas. Crakey's always complaining about almost everything, Irina. Although he is a hard worker. 
It can be a bit of a problem for us. There was one time when a storm came to the island, and then a big ship knocked Cranky down onto his side. I can still hear you down there, Thomas. Calm down, Cranky. I'll leave the dock straight away. Come on, Irina. Let's get you to your new home. As Thomas was making his way to Cold and Fell, he soon had other ideas. I can show Irina all of the wonderful sights of Sodor, and I can show everyone my special. Go! Aren't we supposed to go to Cold and Fell? Yes, but there are some places I want to show you first. First, Thomas showed Irina Wellsworth Station, where Edward was collecting passengers. Hello there, Thomas. Who's this purple diesel engine on your flatbed? Edward, this is Irina. She's a new diesel engine that's going to work on the Coldy Fell Railway. Hi, Edward. You seem like a very wise engine. Why, thank you, Irina. I really appreciate it. Come on, Irina. Let's go to Nafford. And I bet the Coldy Fell engines have never seen this station either. Thomas, what are you doing here? Hello, Mr. Percival. I've got the new arrival at the Coldy Fell Railway. Her name is Irina. Hello to you too, Mr. Percival. Are you going to be my controller? Yes, I will, Irina. And Thomas, you are supposed to take Irina straight to Coldy Fell instead of showing her the sights of Sodor. Sorry, sir. I really want this to be the best special I've ever got. After you drop Irina at Kirk Macken, come straight back here. Yes, sir. I'll get Irina there straight away. Hello, Thomas. Is that the new engine that just arrived on the island? Yes, she is, Nia. Her name is Irina. And she's going to work on the Coldy Fell Railway. Hi, Nia. Where have you come from? I got from Kenya in Africa. Oh, wow. That's cool. I come from Wales, though, since I was built there. I hope you do a good job today, Nia. And I hope you get along with your special, Thomas. As they were making their way to Caldy Fell, Thomas started talking to Irina all about his adventures on Sodor. And eventually, they arrived at Kirkmarken, where Emily was with Rocky. You took your time, Thomas. Where have you been? Sorry, Emily. I was showing Irina the sights of Sodor before I could come here. Look, everyone. The new engine has arrived on our railway. We weren't expecting you to arrive until next week. Sorry about that, everyone. I was set out early just in case there weren't any ships going to Soda or from Wales. And my name is Irina, by the way. Nice to meet you, Irina. My name is Caldy, and I'm the leader of the Caldy Fell Engines. And my name is Ernest. You'll soon get to know the rest of us on our arrival. I hope I could be fitting well into this railway. Well, I'm so glad that it is in another steam engine. Ah, you're right, Lord Harry. Irina is the first diesel engine and female engine to join our railway. Now, now, Lord Harry. You must make Irina feel welcome if she's joining our railway. Pa, oh, I wouldn't care if we got another new engine. What's next? An electric line that runs next to our line? Ugh. Why is he grumbling like Cranky? Lord Harry's always grumbling and complains about things, just like how Cranky would. Thomas, are you forgetting something? Oh yes, I must go back to Napford. I hope you all enjoy your stay on Soda Arena. It was nice spending time with you, but I have to go back to Napford now. See you soon, Thomas. Welcome to our mountain railway, Irina. Thanks, Cody. Thank you.
that evening, Thomas made his way back to Knapford after spending the day with his new friend Irina. When he arrived, Mr. Percival was waiting. Thomas, the next time you collect a new arrival from the docks, you must take them straight to their right destination, instead of wasting time showing them different places. I'm sorry, sir. I won't let that happen again. With Sir Topham gone on his holiday to the mainland, I'll be in charge of this railway now, so tomorrow you must go to the coaling plant to deliver the coal to all the hoppers at the stations. A railway can't run without coal. It is a very important job. Yes, sir. Hello, Thomas. What's the matter? Didn't you enjoy your day with Ermina? Yes, I did, Nia. Mr. Percival told me not to show new arrivals places they've never been to if they need to go somewhere urgently. Don't worry about that, Thomas. When Nick came to my home country, we saw a lot of amazing places during our trip to Dar es Salaam. That was fun, wasn't it? I suppose so, Nia. I just hope tomorrow will be all right. I hope so too, Thomas. So, if that puffball is going to deliver all that coal for the tin kettles tomorrow, then I will go straight to the culling plant before him and take all the coal away and dump it into the sea. Then all the diesels will be taken over the railway. <laughs> the next morning, Thomas arrived at the coaling plant as his train load of coal trucks was ready and waiting for him. All right, Thomas, all your coal trucks are ready. Thank you, sir. I must have been late to deliver all of the coal. No sooner that Thomas had left with his coal delivery, a big mean engine named Diesel 10 arrived at the coal plant. Excuse me, Sab. Do you have any coal trucks for me to take? Sorry about that. I've got no more coal trucks left. No more coal trucks? Bother! Now I need to find another plan to get rid of the silly steamy's cold once and for all! Meanwhile, Thomas was puffing along the main line with a very long line of coal trucks. He was to deliver all of the coal to the waiting hoppers along the main line. There's nothing like puffing along the main line with a very heavy load of coal. I certainly am a useful engine. Now I just need to let the puffball go down the left track that goes into the tunnel. And if he gets stuck in there, I will take all the coal away from him. <laughs> Here he comes. Wait a minute, this is the wrong track! Oh no! I can't stop! Enjoy your time in the mine, Puffball! There's some fireboxes! This track is too steep to slow down! and ashes. That was scary. I better not do that again. But at least I still have all of my trucks with me. Now then, how do I get out of this mine shaft? Hello? Hello? Is someone there? Well, if you come closer to where I am, you'll find me. Thomas rolled slowly forward as he hardly dared puff. As he got closer to where the voice was sounding, he saw something that made his eyes pop wide open. 
bust my buffers. You're a front loader. <laughs> yes, I am, little engine. My name is Johnson, and I was shipped here years ago to help miners dig up rocks for gold. Nice to meet you, Johnson. My name is Thomas, and my friend Jack is a front loader too. I can't wait to tell him the news. Did you say Jack? Yes, why? Jack and I were brothers. We were both built in the same factory, and we used to work together until Jack was sold to Sodor sometime after our old company went out of business. That's not good. How long have you been in here for? Uh, I don't know how long I was in here for. It feels like so many years that I was stuck in here, collecting dust and cobwebs. Oh, I wish I could see the sunlight once more. Don't worry, Johnson. I'll get you out of this mine. But I have to deliver these coal trucks first. I won't be long. Thanks, Thomas. delivery for rescuing Johnson. But Diesel Town was watching the whole thing in fire. Ah, plan B is ruined. Now it's time for Plan C. Listen up, I come up with a new plan to stop the steam engines from working once and for all. Actually boss, it's uh, Splatter. Yeah, and Dodge. How many times do I have to tell you two? I don't have time to say both names. So, what's your new plan to stop the steam engines from working? Because we've tried so many times to do all sorts of different things that our plans keep failing. Yeah, I bet this plan won't go as expected. Don't worry about that, you two. For this plan, we're gonna take all the coal away from the steam engines and dump them into the sea. That sounds so impossible, boss. Oh, and then we're gonna get in trouble by that thin controller guy who's in charge while Fat Hat goes on a holiday. Yeah, exactly. Not on my claw. As soon as the steam engines are all asleep, then we will take all the coal away and dump it into the ocean. So, who's with me? Thomas went across the island delivering all of the coal to the hoppers at the stations along the main line. Where have you been, Thomas? I was worried about where you'd gone. Sorry, Percy, I took a wrong turn while I was making my way delivering the coal. And after he had delivered the coal, Thomas passed back into the mine to fetch Johnson. He was very pleased to see him again. Hello again, Thomas. Have you gone to get me out? I sure have, Johnson. Let's get you out of this mine shaft. Thomas reversed slowly and carefully as he pulled the flat that Johnson was loaded on. The mine tunnel was very dark. Thomas was happy he had a bright lamp. As soon as they made their way out, Johnson felt happier to be out of the dark mines. Can't believe I'm seeing daylight again. <laughs> Thanks for helping me, Thomas. No problem, Johnson. I'd better take you to the Sodor Construction Company. Miss Jenner will have you fixed up like new. Oh, that's great, Thomas. I can't wait to see my brother Jack again. As Thomas was taking his new friend to the Sodor Construction Company yard, he saw Percy waiting at a signal. Hello again, Thomas. Who's that on your flat bed? Percy, this is Johnson. I saw him in the mine as I accidentally took the wrong turn. Oh, nice to meet you, Percy. You seem very sweet. Thank you, Johnson. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> A 
As soon as they arrived at the yard, Miss Jenny was there waiting with her machine. Hello, Thomas. What machine do you have on your flatbed? Hello, Miss Jenny. This is Johnson. I discovered him when I took a wrong turn into a mine shaft. Johnson? Is that you? Yes, Jack, it's me. I haven't seen you for so many years. I haven't seen you for years either. Where have you been all this time? As soon as you were shipped to Sodor, I was put in a storage shed until some miners purchased me so I could help them dig for gold. And did you find some gold by any luck? Uh, no, sadly. The miners gave up and left me inside without anyone keeping me company. I was all alone collecting dust until I saw Thomas, who showed up in the mines today. Well, it's a good thing he found you if he didn't take that turn in the junction. Do you two know each other? Yes, Alfie. Johnson is my long-lost brother. I haven't seen him for years. Wow! I didn't know you two were brothers. Miss Jenny, is there a way for you to fix Johnson up? I'll see what I can do, Thomas. But right now, you have to go back to your branch line run. All right, Miss Jenny. I'll see you later, everyone. Bye, Bye Thomas. Thomas. You're going to love it here, Johnson. I hope Miss Jenny will get some workmen to restore me soon. As Thomas worked on his branch line, he couldn't stop thinking about his new friends, Irina and Johnson. Irina is so sweet and friendly. She reminds me of Rosie, and Johnson's a front loader like Jack, except it's much longer and wider. If I didn't take the wrong turn in the junction, then I would never have found Johnson in the first place. I wonder what exciting special I'll have tomorrow. But that night, as everyone on Sodor was asleep, Diesel, Terror and the sidekick Splatter and Dodge were about to start up their plan to get rid of the steam engine's coal. We'll start here at this station, and then we'll continue with the others. Splodge, you know what to do. If you're sure, boss. We can't wake everyone up if we biff the trucks with our buffers. Just get this over and done with. Yes, yes, yes boss. boss. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, good. What was that noise? Those diesels are trying to take all the coal away. Uh-oh. Busted. Why did you revert into the turntable well? It wasn't my fault, Don. I didn't look where I was going. Never mind where you were going. How did you get out of here? Uh, I don't know how. I'm stuck. Ugh. I'll go find a crane. Uh, I can't believe that Plan C is already ruined. I guess it's about time we move on to Plan D. That would be far more superior than the other plans I originally came up with. <laughs> As dawn broke across the island, Diesel 10 went over the thickest town bridge and was on the mainland. He was going to make a plan that would stop all the steam engines from working. I know just a diesel engine to help me stop all the steamies. Diesel 10? Is that you? Diesel 11! It's been a very long time since we last met. What an honor! Honor or no honor, I just want to know where you've been all this time. When Fathead saw me on the barge I fell onto, he decided to give me a second chance and brought me to work on his railway. Why would that controller make you work at a place with all those tin kettles? 
because he needed an engine to clear some rubble that's blocking the lines. And he thought my claw Pinchy was useful for the job. Is that right? Well, I'm just glad you're still in peace, my old partner. All right. So where was I? Oh, yes. I came here to come up with a new plan to stop all the puffballs from working. Do you have any suggestions, Diesel Eleven? Hmm. Now, what schemes fell through? First, I tried to take the coal away from the coaling plant, but the blue puffball beat me to it. Second, I set the points for the puffball to go the wrong way, right into the bushes. But then, he appeared out of nowhere, still having the coal trucks with him. Third, I asked my idiot minions to help take the coal instead of doing it myself, but then got into a clumsy accident, waking up everyone at Wellsworth. Why does everything I do always have to go wrong? I think you need to make some serious changes, Diesel 10. Really? Do you have something to stop the steam engines from working? Even better. What's that blue pop ball's name? Back on Sodor, Thomas was pulling the morning mainline local when he stopped at Wellsworth to pick up some passengers where he saw what had happened to Splatter and Dodd last night. How did this accident happen? Don't ask me, Thomas. Those two diesel hitters just ruined the turntable. Splatter and Dodge? I thought you two were meant to be with your boss, Diesel Ten. I didn't want to leave my brother behind on his own. Nothing really wants me. Be quiet, you two. I'm taking you both to the diesel works, where you'll be checked over. Mia is already taking care of my passenger run while I'm gone. See you later, Thomas. See you later, Edward. Well, hello, Thomas. You look surprised. What's wrong? Some diesel engines named Splatter and Dodge have messed up with the turntable here last night. Edward has already taken them to the diesel works for repairs. Well, those two diesels can mean trouble, Thomas. They sure do, Neil. Splatter and Dodge work with a big, mean diesel engine with a claw on his roof. His name is Diesel 10. Really? A diesel engine with a claw on its roof? Yes, Nia. 10 out of 10 for devious deeds and brutal strength. The blast from the past who hates steam engines. Oh dear, I hope I don't meet him, Thomas. He sounds really scary. I'm glad you've never met him, Nia. Diesel 10 is a master of mischief who would do anything to get rid of us steamies. Hurry up, little Thomas. My express passengers are waiting. Sorry, Gordon. I will leave as soon as I can. Now, that's my guard's whistle. I'll see you later, everyone. I hope I don't see Diesel 10 with his claw on his roof. You're lucky you didn't, Nia. I have, and I know how menacing he was when he first came to this railway. Thomas chuffed along the main line, pulling the local. As he came to a junction, he didn't see Diesel 10 in the siding, watching him go by. If there were a lot of clones of that puffball, then the whole island would be in jeopardy when they see nothing but Thomas clones everywhere. I think this plan would be even better, Diesel 11. Thank you, dear boy. But if we're going to talk more about my plan, we should probably do it elsewhere. And I know a place where we can do so. Follow me. <laughs> This is the place where I have my meetings with Splodge. In this mysterious part of the island with that face sticking on the cliff wall that looks like you? Yes, that's my portrait. Doesn't it capture the real me? Well, it looks ridiculous. I could have done something like that. All right, Diesel 11. You stay here while I go and get Splodge. Idiots, do it in 
this place. Well, uh, you see, boss, this blue tender engine took a seat. Yeah, he's so kind and wise. He doesn't believe that diesels replace all the steam engines. At least I don't think so. How long will it take it to you to are repaired? We don't know, boss. But last we not taking such a long time to look at us. If you two aren't going to help me, then I'll find some other diesel engines to help me out instead. I'll catch up with you two later. Catch up? What does the boss mean by that? I've got no idea. As Diesel Tang went around the island, he went to places where he could find other diesel engines that weren't busy with their jobs. I need you two to help me with a very important job. That will show everyone that the whole island will go crazy. Did you say crazy? We're not in the sound of that. Excellent. Now, meet me at a siding with a face carved onto the wall. I made it myself. Diesel 10? What are you doing here? I've come up with a plan to make the whole island look bad. Follow me to my hiding spot. Hey, wait for me. I want to know what the plan is. Wait, wait for us. I'm back, Diesel 11. And I've got some more help from more Diesels. <laughs> More diesel shunters? Well, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. We want to know what Diesel Tent's plan is. Yeah, we heard it was going to be crazy. So we're going to be a part of the plan too. Excellent! Now, listen to Diesel 11. He'll have something to say. We're going to abduct that little blue puffball and take him with us to Dalton so he can get himself cloned and cloned and cloned and cloned until there is far too many of him to count! <clears throat> Pardon me. Cloning Thomas. Well, that sounds a bit tricky. How are we going to do that? Well, it's simple. I'll sneak into the sheds tonight and take the puffball out of his bath while he's asleep. Then we'll all go to the Dalton warehouse on the mainland, where we'll put him into a shed that makes multiple clones of him. So, what will the clones do? They'll do exactly as we tell them to do. They will follow our steps, and they're gonna make mischief and chaos, just like how we diesels are supposed to do. If everybody's ready, then let us be on our way and get everything we need to set up this cloning facility. Right oh, away, boss. Away, boss. <laughs> <laughs> that evening, Thomas was heading home to Tidmouth Sheds, where he saw Percy alongside him. Thomas. I'm going to find out what Diesel 10 and his psychics are doing. I saw Spatter and Dr. Wells were saying, and something's not right about it. So I'm going to be brave as I'll ever be to stop those diesels. Good luck, Thomas. You really are a brave little engine.
The engines were fast asleep after a hard day's work. But Diesel Tank walked slowly onto the turntable as he was going to do something very bad. Alright, you cheap, my little bucket of badness. Let's get this over and done with. It's time to kick up the blue puffball and make multiple clones of him. so he doesn't wake up. Come on! Oh, look at Thomas. He's all asleep. But he doesn't know he's gonna get himself cloned in when he wakes up. <laughs> Shush, you two! You have to keep quiet and follow me. We have some unfinished business to do here. And we've got to finish it fast! All right, boss. We'll get going straight away. to keep quiet so we don't wake everyone up on Soto. And we got the blue puffball with us. Where, uh, where am I? What is this place? You're far away from Soto now. <laughs> Why did you bring me here, Diesels? What is the meaning of this? This wasn't our plan to kidnap you. It was his. Diesel Tank? Why did you bring me here? And who is this diesel engine looks like you? I'm glad you asked, Puffball. This is my big cousin, Diesel Eleven. Greetings, Puffball. My little cousin has told me so much about you. The name's Thomas. I am not called Puffball. We're here, boss. Oh, but what minute the diesel works took a while to fix both of us. Well, I'm glad you two have arrived just in time, Splodge, because I have a favor for you two. Wait, a favor? So is it like a chore that somebody tells you what you need to do? Yes, you idiots! I need you two to shut the blue puffball into that wind shed over there. He's worth being cloned. <laughs> Let me go! What are you doing to me? Help! We've 
want to find that shaggy vase for him, boss. Excellent! Let's hope this cloning machine works! The pop is in position, boss. Begin the cloning process at once! Machine on with Pinchy. What's happening? Why are the sparks outside the shed? Was it supposed to do that? I'm sure something has to happen to him. Wait for it. Wait for it! It works! It worked! <laughs> now they're all in our control! They will do as we say! Alright, Thomas Clones! Listen up! There's an island called Sodor, and it isn't far from here. I want each and every one of you to head to the island and cause the biggest wreckage the island has ever seen. That sounds more like it. Come on, all, follow us. Wait, stop. Why the rush, Puffball, old bee? You're the guest of honor. You must stay for a little while until the clones return. Osudo is my home. They'll sabotage the whole island, and my friends will be in danger. Some joke on them, eh? Think of it as the ultimate punchline. <laughs> Trouble strikes as the Thomas clones followed the diesels as they went across the biggest town bridge and were on the island of Sodor. As dawn broke, the clones went everywhere around the island, causing so much mess and damage everywhere they went. Diesel Town's plan was starting to work as he expected. While the clones are sabotaging the island, the rest of you go to every engine shed and lock up all the doors so no one will go out. Yes, yes boss. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. <laughs> While the five diesels were locking the shed doors, the steam team were surprised to see the Thomas clones when they woke up from their sleep. <gasps> oh no! What's happening? Why are there so many Thomases? Which was the real Thomas? And why are they destroying the whole railway? Oh, the indignity. We can't work on a railway like this invasion. What will Mr. Percival say if he sees this? Rise and shine, Steamies. Isn't it a lovely day? No, it isn't. Just look how many Thomases there are. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to stay in your sheds until the invasion is over. <laughs> hey, let us out, Diesel. We'll get you for this. Not until the clones are all gone. <laughs> over on the mainland, Thomas was still held hostage by Diesel 11. He couldn't move his wheels without his driver or fireman. Just then, the two engines smelt something smoky. That smell. It wouldn't be your steam now, would it? It's not me. I haven't got my driver or fireman with me. Where on earth did that come from? <gasps> the warehouse is on fire. We must get out of here before the place explodes! Correction! I'll be getting out of here. You stay here and do the melting. Ta-da! Wait! Don't leave me here! 
I want to sell my box to Sozo! Help! Back on Sozo, the Thomas planes were still out of control! Diesel 11 arrived on the island to tell Diesel 10 the news about the warehouse fire. Diesel 10! The Dalton warehouse is on fire! But don't worry, the real Pop Paul is in there now. His goose getting beautifully cooked. That's marvelous! It'll serve him right for letting the railway have more steamies! Great minds think alike. <laughs> <laughs> At Tidmouth, the engines were still stuck in their sheds, until Percy had an idea. If I crash through my shed door, I'll be free! I'm not sure about that, Percy. You could get hurt! Don't worry, Emily. I can do this! Here I go! I did it! I'm free! Good for you, Percy! Go and rescue the real Thomas! Don't worry, James! I'll be as brave as I'll ever be! Don't worry, Thomas! Percy to the rescue! Percy raced as fast as he could to get away from the clones. The diesel engine saw what was going on and were very surprised. What? Impossible! How did that great puffball manage to escape? Oh, I forgot the shed doors were made of wood. Sorry about that, boss. I've had enough of this! Splodge! Do something! We're sorry, boss, but we're out of ideas. We don't have brains like humans. You two are nothing but morons! Uh oh. Percy raced across the bridge to the mainland, with the clone still chasing after him. At last, he arrived at the burning warehouse site. Thomas was happy to see his friend again. Percy, you're here! How did you know where to find me? I saw some big flames which were coming from the warehouse. I saw you outside. I'm glad you're the real Thomas I'm looking for. Look out, Percy! The clouds are coming! Get me out of here quickly! Tidmouth sheds, the engines had managed to get themselves free and were shocked to see that everything around them was all a complete mess. This will take days to clear up all this mess. Weeks even. I hope Pussy comes back soon, but at least all the Thomas clothes are gone. Now we just need to wait for the real Thomas to show up. Look, here they are. Oh, he's alive! Hooray for Percy! Thomas is saved! I've done it! I've rescued my real best friend! Thanks for helping me, Percy. I can always call him my very best friend. Goodness gracious me, why is this whole railway in such a wreck? 
It's a really long story, sir. Where were you, by the way? I was up at Coldy Fell to check on Irina to see if she's setting into her new home on Sodor. And may I ask, how did this whole mess happen in the first place? And so, Thomas told Mr. Percival all about Diesel 10, and a sinister plan to take over the railway by making multiple clones of him to sabotage the whole island. At the shunting guards, the Diesels were cross about their failed plans as they wouldn't stop arguing over and over again. This is your fault, Diesel! You are meant to stay at Tidman and not let those kennels out! Why on earth are you blaming me for? It wasn't my fault the doors were made of wood. And besides, I wanted to see how the clowns did when they were wrecking the island. So where have the clowns gone? I believe the clones met their fate in the warehouse. I saw a little green tank engine take the real Popball back to his home base. I can't believe we've been spoiled again by those silly steamies. Why does this keep happening to us? Don't ask us, boss. Yeah, who knows what'll happen to us next if that stupid solar guy sees us. Uh, you might look at this guy. I've been hearing from Thomas that you have cloned him to cause this railway to look bad. Uh -oh. Because of this, I'm giving each one of you a serious punishment from everything you have caused to damage the whole railway. Don't punish us, sir. We didn't make the mess ourselves. It was the clones. I don't care whose fault it was, Diesel. You were the ones to send the clones out to make havoc. Diesel, I am sending you back to the Diesel Works, and you're not allowed to leave until you can be trusted again. Uh, it's me who's first to get punished. Harry and Bert, you two are going back to the Iron Works and stay there for the rest of the month. <gasps> You can't just send us back to where we were always worked, sir. We'll do anything to work hard and be really useful engines. Well, I'm sorry, but you two are needed back at your workplace immediately. <laughs> now it's back to the mainland for you three diesels. You want us to go back, sir? But we actually gotta like it here. I'm sending you three back to clear up the rubble from the explosion at Dalton, and you're not allowed to come back at all. Well, it appears I won't be seeing you again for quite some time, old son. Farewell, Dizzle Eleven. Take care of Splodge for me. That shouldn't be a problem. Come along, chaps. We've got to go tidy up. <laughs> I guess this means Diesel 10 is the only diesel engine left, sir. What punishment are you going to give him? Don't worry, Thomas. I've already come up with one, and I'm sure he's going to regret this. Scrap duty! Why do I have to be put on scrap duty? Oh, the shame! The shame! Oh, grease and oil! As the diesels had gotten their punishments, the steam engines were hard at work clearing up all of the messes that were made by the clones. Even the road vehicles were the messes too. At last, the whole island was clean and everything ran back to normal. Thomas was very pleased to be working again, and so, he decided to check how his new friends are settling into their new homes. Hello, Thomas. Have you got more passengers? I sure have, Cody. How is Irina, by the way? She's working just fine, thanks. Hello again, Thomas. It's been a while since we last met. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying your new job at Soto, Irina. delivering those building supplies, Thomas. No problem, Miss Jenny. How is Johnson getting along? The workmen are still working hard to restore him. I don't know how long it will take, but I'm sure he'll be fixed up in the new future. 
At Knapford, Thomas was talking to the other engines about the clones invading the railway. They were very surprised to hear such a story. Those clones of yours have been very dangerous, Thomas. They sure were, Toby. I'm so glad Percy came to my rescue when I was trapped in a warehouse fire. I sure did, Thomas. If I didn't go out of my shirt, then I would never be able to see my best friend ever again. I've got some fresh new wooden doors for Tidmouth sheds. New shed doors? What happened to our old ones? I had to crash through them to come to your rescue when Diesel locked us all in. Well, it's a good thing I've got a shed of my own. I would never crash through my shed door at all. It'll scare all the birds away. Just be thankful the invasion is over. The Fat Controller is coming home to Sodor next week. So Mr. Percival has asked me and Jane to travel to the mainland to pick him up with his family. Well, that's good. I miss having the Fat Controller to take charge of our railway. It just doesn't feel the same without him. You're right, Henry. And once the Fat Controller comes home, He'll be very happy to see us again. Let's hope Soda doesn't go out of control in the future. Yes, Percy. Wherever we go, Soda will always be our home forever. Chug, chug, chuff, 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 he rides along the way. And when you hear that whistle, it can only be one train. Our favorite little engine, Thomas is his name. Chuff-chuff's everywhere, he's always playing games The fat controller scolds him, but he loves him just the same Our favorite little engine, Thomas is his name And soon there will be nothing but diesel engines taking over the railway. The age of steam will soon be over. Long live the age of diesel engines! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah. 